Discussion boards are a tool in e-learning that allows students to have a discussion on multiple threads across multiple topics. When you're ready to jump into this tool, select the discussion board link your instructor created. In this case, it's titled Day 1. On the main page, you will see a global view of all available forms. To view a thread, select the title. From here, you will be able to see all the posts in that certain thread. You have the ability to expand or collapse all or certain posts by clicking the buttons at the top or hovering over posts and clicking Collapse and Expand. You can search for posts and refresh the thread by hovering your mouse over the thread window and clicking the buttons that appear in the top right corner. Some important information is also at the top of the page, including the number of posts and how many unread posts you have. Posts are marked as read when you have them expanded and scroll down the page. You also have the ability to flag posts with this radio button marking them as important. When you hover over a post that isn't your own, you have the reply, quote, and email author buttons appear. When you hover over your own post, it might give you the ability to edit or delete that post. This depends on whether the instructor has given you the privileges of doing so. When you select a reply, a text box will appear. This is a content editor that you can input text media, or files into. I'll go ahead and cancel. A reply to a post will appear indented directly under that post, much like Dave Evans' post to Paul Hewson. Hover over the age of the post to view the creation date and also the total number of views. Please note that some discussion forums will only allow you to post on the thread before you can see your classmates' responses. In those cases, you may not be able to edit your text. In the next video, we will cover all the ways you can view posts and also check in grades for discussion boards.